Hey to you. I want to welcome you to another episode of How I Animate in Clip Studio Paint. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about shading a character and how I go about it when it comes to an animation character. There's a big difference between the two, and I use a method called cell shading. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and let's get straight into it. Okay, so as you see, we're going to use this character that I started working on. This is a new character design I've been working on for this animation I've already basically put together. I'm waiting to put some of the finishing touches on it. And... I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably redraw the final character in this form as this character. So, of course, I did the character design first. But we're going to use this to go ahead and try to do some shading. So, most shading that you see in anime, most people probably on this channel are anime lovers, are cell shades. They're doing cell shading in those animes. Now, the other way that you can do shading is on a realistic level. And this is an example that I've done in the past um, that's more, um, more leaning towards a realistic uh, side. But we're doing cell shading. We gotta keep it simple, why? Because we animate, right? So the first thing I do is I'm gonna come in, create a new layer. So I already created this layer ahead of time. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. And it's this shadow right under his lip, right? So if I turn it off, you see the line for under his lip, I turn it back on and you see that little black line. So the thing I did is took this empty layer that it was empty layer for the shadows and I right clicked it, went to layer settings, clipped it to the folder below. Now below is the line art and the, um, the colors, the base color. I didn't do a bunch of layers, a bunch of separate layers, because I want to keep it simple. So if I go in, I don't do anything with the layer adjustments or anything like that. I just bring down the opacity a little bit, brought it down to about 40, 43. Yeah, 43 will do, right? I like to have two layers. I mean, two shadows, two layers of shadows. So we'll do another one afterwards. So I'll go in with the shadows first keep it very simple I just use the G pen the layer is already um, the layer is already down to the opacity that we need it to be and we're just gonna come in here make sure we get this in here there we go and we're just gonna come in here and start shading and you're just going to try to bring out the form very simple I'm telling you guys very simple but bringing the opacity down and then clipping it to this folder makes it very easy to go over everything at once, right? And I just want to make sure that you can tell he got some kind of, you know, some kind of form to his body. Now, cell shading usually is very broad and sweeping, right? So most of your cell shade, shading um, animes, you'll see just this quick shadow going around the one side of the head like that. And it'll come down right here. Right? And then I'll just actually use my paint bucket tool, reference layer, right? and just drop the paint bucket right into the hoodie, right into the hood of the hoodie. So I don't have to do all that extra detail, right? And that's so on and so forth. All right, so I'll come down, do all of this, do all of that. Now I won't do all of the details for you in this video, because this video will be forever. But I may, I don't know. Yeah, I may do a, um, maybe I put a speed pay video and be finishing it off, right? So along with this shadow that I've done over the face, I want to get all of that. Make sure this shadow follows 
all of this form. So we're gonna get right under the hairline also. Get under that hairline right there. There we go. And then let's give it a little bit of little depth, some kind of fullness to it. And let's get the rest of the side here, right? Get this, get this, get this. All right, so we're gonna focus on the face. I won't do no more of the clothing. That way we can make it quick. So we're gonna go over the eyes right here. And remember, the setting for this is just normal. I just brought the opacity down. Now, this works very well when you want to keep it very simple, but some people, they have a um, overall theme, or like a theme setting to their cartoon or their animation. And sometimes you go with the theme of the animation. So if you're like a pastel blue or something like that, you got to come with those colors to uh, complement the scenes that the uh, character is going to be in. But I'm not doing that. I'm just keeping it simple. And if I wanted to do something like that, I'll just put an overlay on it. So this is basically it for the first layer. Oh, sorry about that. Get this too. Make life a little bit easier for them. All right, all right. I'm not gonna go too more, much more in there. Okay. I don't want that. Get the chin like that. There we go. All right. So now we got the first shadow, right? Now I wanna bring in a second shadow. And this shadow right here is gonna be a hard shadow. So some places you want on the character to just pop. And eventually I'll get rid of some of these lines, but under the neck is just one of those places that, uh oh, let me uh, bring that up, there we go. That I just really like to make pop because the shadow is usually harder there anyway. And what this does is, see, it pops out the form of his, his head off of his neck. It's just something I like to do. It's just a technique that I picked up over time. Okay. And then I would do probably another, I don't know, maybe another hard shadow here. Right around here or something like that. Just to show that separation. And then what I'm gonna actually do, come out and bring it down just a little bit. Like right there, 80. And 60 will do. So it's just a shadow, but it's a hard shadow. That's the difference between the two. Okay, so let's move on to the last part. And the last part is um, the highlights. So let's make a new layer. Highlights. Maybe I should start naming this. Maybe I'll teach you guys some good habits. All right. So there's two highlights. You got the regular highlights, which we're working on now. And then you got those really, uh, what do they call them? Like spectacle. I don't, I don't know what, the, like reflective light. I don't know. I don't remember. What is it called? I think it is called spectacle. If somebody know what it's called, please hit me in the comments. Hit me in the comments below. And while you at it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We need those likes, man. It, it, it brings more attention to our videos. So back to the highlights. So I'm just gonna choose regular white because like I said, this is not about a setting or anything like that. I'm gonna just choose regular white. And let's test out the 
where it lays on there. So that is add glow. Oh, let me bring it down some. And actually that's pretty decent. I'm gonna bring it down to, let's bring it down to 17. And let's do a tester on what it looks like right now. Now I wanna zoom back out. And the reason I'm zooming out is because I don't wanna lose focus of what it looks like on the character. And this is just to bring some, some balance to the character's look. And as you've seen in the last video, when I was talking about the blending tool, I'll do the nose like that too. And then I'll come back in with the blending tool and mess with that. So we'll come in also, let's do the lip. I really like to do the, <laughs> I like to do the lip um, and then mess with the line art so it'll blend in even better. So now that we have that, let me go ahead and blend this out. I'm gonna blur it out actually. Oh. And what do we do? Come back in, right? Another one. Out. And then one more. Blur it out just a little bit. Now he got a little bit of lift on it. I'm gonna come back over to the shadow, the original layer. And what I want to do is just put a little bit of depth on that nose and see, come back out. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Let's bring down some of this. Oops, a little bit. And that is enough. Okay, so we got the shadow, we got the balance on the other side. And let's end this by doing the second set of highlights. Put a name that one too. And I wanna put this actually under all of the shadows. Oh, highlight. Two. And this is going to be the little bitty I think this called spectacle lights over the eyes. What are we doing here now? What's going on? My, give me my lights. Oh, that's my fault. I didn't switch to white. All right. So let's keep it simple. Put them in the same spot. And then we put a second one and make sure it crosses over into the white of his eye. And if you see the difference is, the reason I pulled this highlight two down to the bottom is because I want the shadow to go over the highlight so you can see the difference in the highlight, right? And it's as simple as that, guys. Now I can add some more highlights up here on the hair. Now this is when you're getting a little bit too, I think you're getting a little bit too deep into it, but things like this is when you wanna start. That's when you wanna start really digging in on the details, like making sure that you put the bumps and texture into it. See, I don't even like how that looks at all. I don't like how it looks. and. I would probably have to get a little bit more detail in to say where this light is coming from. So, and that's about it for today. So this is how I shade when it comes to just doing an animation. It's very simple. Four layers should do it. And you can bake these um, lightings in to a certain extent. Um, it's just about the direction of the lighting. Now, if you wanna do rim lighting, 
and all of that stuff, that's on you. But for me, in my eyes, when it comes to rim lighting, you're thinking more of something like this, right? This type of stuff right here, you got the rim lighting and all that stuff. Me, when it comes to animation, I wanna make the character pop, but keep them simple. So it's less work that I have to do every single scene. So if the scene is dynamic, that's one thing. Because if the scene is dynamic, I'm dropping layers of lights and textures in the scene, which is gonna go over the character a lot of times. And that'll help the scene itself. I don't need to put a whole bunch of different things on top of the character. So I hope that clarifies a lot of things when it comes to shading your character, getting it ready for the final animation. And I think that's enough for this video. So as always, anime life forever. Ooh.